What's up guys? So I put out a poll the other day uh, of what video you guys want to see this week. It was super close. It's been 50-50 pretty much the whole time, but I figured, you know what, it's been over 24 hours. Time to cut it off so I can make the video for this week. And it looks like it ended with restore your device without losing your jailbreak. Now, I know that some people have been having some issues with their devices in a fresh restore of the device in a fresh re-jailbreak. Sometimes we'll fix all of the issues that you may be having because maybe you've downloaded multiple, multiple tweaks and you don't know which ones left files behind and could be causing issues or a battery drain or taking up storage that doesn't need to be taken. Real quick before we get into the video guys, if you could go ahead and destroy that like button for me because this video took a very long time to create. With that being said, Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so if we head over to Uncover and you want to just restore your device to a pre jailbroken state which means it'll remove all your tweaks and all the files related to jailbreaking you can go ahead and come to uncover go ahead and tap on the little settings cog go ahead and scroll down to restore root fs go ahead and hit this toggle right here restore root fs push done and then go ahead and tap on that and that will go ahead and restore your device to a pre jailbroken state which means all of your tweaks the Cydia will be removed everything like that but all of your applications will remain all your contacts your messages photos everything will still be intact the only thing that that removes is your jailbreak tweaks super simple also if you're on the check rain jailbreak there is the same option there you can go ahead and restore the device to a pre jailbroken state but the main reason I am here is because I want to remove the jailbreak and I want to factory reset my device. So we are going to use this application called Succession. Now, if we open up Succession, you're going to get a warning prompt shows that Uncover 4.0 through 4.2.1 is not compatible. So please be on Uncover 4.3 or above. So go ahead and tap exit on that. You're gonna be greeted with this screen right here. Make sure that this is your correct iPhone and your correct iOS version. If it's not, then you can go ahead and tap right here if the information above is not correct. It will show you how to download the IPSW. All we are going to do is go ahead and tap the download clean file system. Tap start download. Real quick, I was in airplane mode. Make sure you're not in airplane mode when you're trying to download a clean file system. So go ahead and we'll tap it again. Start download. All right, the download has been completed. So go ahead and tap back. Now, once you have that file downloaded, the button will now turn to a prepare for restore button. And then you can go ahead and tap on that. Real quick, I would suggest that your battery be at least above 50% so that your phone does not die in the middle of this. So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and tap prepare for restore. All right, so running this tool will immediately delete all data from your device. Please make 
a backup of any data that you want to keep. This will also return your device to the setup screen. A valid SIM card may be needed for activation on iPhones and cellular iPads. So go ahead and push erase iPhone. Are you sure? Begin restore. Now, just don't touch the phone. Go ahead and just let it sit here and do its thing. All right, so I saw a quick message that said restore successful. It looks like the app just force closed. All right, so real quick, it looks like after the prompt came up saying that the restore was successful it forced closed the application i was able to go back out into the springboard and open other applications however i did get emails saying that my apple card had been removed from this phone so it looks like it did work uh, when i was opening up random applications trying to figure out what happened it seems that the device was just lagging behind a little bit All right, quick little note here. I do want to make you guys aware that if you restore root FS, there have been some people reporting that some of their games still will not open as if the application can still detect a jailbreak. So in that case, then you may have to use this application right here, Succession, in order to get a clean install of the OS that should remove any trace of any jailbreak. However, I know that sometimes you can go into files and delete specific files pertaining to Cydia so that you don't have to actually restore your whole entire device. But if you do go into files and you delete some of those files pertaining to Cydia, and your applications still will not open such as your banking app or any games anything related to that then go ahead and use succession but the first thing you should try is try to use the new kern bypass to see if any of the bypasses the jailbreak detection bypasses will work for your specific banking app or game. I will go ahead and make sure to link that video in the description of this video. Three hundred and forty-six minutes later. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and it's just been stuck on this screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a hard reset on it to see if that will do anything because I feel like at this point it's just sitting there not doing anything and I don't want to deceive you guys in any way this is just exactly what I'm going to do to see if it will work
All right, looks like it rebooted itself and now the progress bar is loading. So we're gonna go ahead and let that load. All right, so it looks like all it needed is a little hard reset to give it a little kick in the butt because it was sitting there stuck on that screen for, I feel, a little too long. So I waited at least 30 minutes for it to sit on that screen. If you're using this application, I suggest at least giving it 20 to 30 minutes to sit on that screen. And if it gets stuck there, then go ahead and do what I did and do a hard reset. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up this device and show you that it is still on the firmware. All right, real quick, uh, I just wanna mention if you did not take Find My iPhone off your device, then it will be activation locked. So make sure that if you are selling the device and you're trying to factory restore it, make sure that you go ahead and disable Find My iPhone. Otherwise, the buyer will get this screen when they purchase the device from you. All right, guys, so it looks like it's letting me restore an iCloud backup. Real quick, I'm going to show you that I am still on iOS 13.3. I don't want to show my serial number. So we're going to go ahead like that. And as you can see, iOS 13.3, iPhone X. Go ahead back home. So anyways, guys, if you guys thought this video was useful and this helped you at all, Please remember to go ahead and smack that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.